What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Kayla Danae, and we are back with another video, honey. Period. Show to your little body. Show to my little boo thing. And show to got the fatty. So we got a, a little different video for y'all today because... You know, with social media, like, let me... Let, we're not even gonna get into it yet. We just got a different video for y'all. So today, I'm gonna come at y'all with things that needs to be left in 2020 you see you see my list can, can you see can you see yes things that need to be left in 2020 because it's a lot it's a lot but i nailed today i narrowed it down to 10 for y'all so we won't be here all day but before we get into that make sure you guys leave a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and follow me on all social medias at kayla Danae. i just dropped some pictures so make sure you go like them Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and get started into this list because it's a pretty hefty list, even though it's only 10 things. Like, I'm just tired of it. Like, just just stop it. Just leave it alone. Just let it be done. Let it be rest. R.I.P. to it. Let it go. So number one on the list is bashing black successful women. Like, I don't know what's up with men and like their egos, but like when they see a successful woman, they automatically think it's a man doing it for him. Like, no. Females can be bosses too. Y'all was not the only ones. So let me just give y'all some insight of what I'm talking about. So it's this girl I follow on Twitter and she had posted a Tesla. And everybody commented, oh, your man bought it for you. Da, da, da. Like, just, just like, she's, she's clearly hyped about buying herself a Tesla. She said it's her Tesla. She said she bought her Tesla. So why are you coming to her talking about, oh, it's not hers and like, and she, um, she didn't buy it for real. Somebody bought it for her. Like, no, black girls can be successful. When a white person does it, it's, oh, oh wow, look at her. They, she bought her own Tesla. But when a black person does it, oh, a nigga bought it for you? Like, come on, do better do better black men do better and it's always the black men it's always the black men tearing down their sisters like i just don't understand help me help me understand because i don't get it so that's number one <laughs> um the second one leave when you get cheated on leave leave because i promise you it's a boy out here that will worship the ground you walk on I promise you he's out there. You may not be in the county you stay in or the city you live in or the state you stay in. Like all these states and all these countries, like your soulmate probably not might not be where you are right now, but he's out there somewhere. I strongly believe in that. So I just feel like once a boy even cheats on you or you know, anything like that, or even put his hands on you, leave deuces out like it's not even it's a non-negotiable for me i understand things happen and boys do cheat for different reasons than girls and you might not agree with me on this but boys i feel like boys cheat for that enjoyment you know a quick little one minute enjoyment a girl will only cheat if it's like an emotional attachment unless she just think like a boy too but a girl is gonna cheat for an emotional attachment boys cheat to get that quick little if you know you know but yeah that's how i feel Okay, another thing is bashing girls for surgeries, twerking, all that type of stuff. I'm a strong, I'm a strong believer in females doing whatever they want to do. Like, no man or or female or another female is gonna tell me how to live my life, what to do. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care. Now, me personally, I don't think I will ever get surgery, but I'm not gonna bash the next woman for getting surgery. Because I've been seeing a lot of stuff, especially with, let me, let me think of like some people. Um, now that's another thing. The Clermont twins, okay, they just did a lot. I don't care what nobody say. They just did too much. But like with normal people or people that want to enhance some stuff, like Queen, like Queen. So for an example, I feel like Queen got surgery to enhance her, you know, enhance her butt a little bit. She had kids. You know, when you want a mommy makeover. So I feel like she shouldn't be bashed for that. Or, you know, she shouldn't be targeted because she decided to get a little enhancement on her body done after she had after she had after she done had a baby. Most of us, most of the people that bash other people haven't even had a baby, haven't even, you know, experienced nothing like that. The stretch marks, the you know, lack of confidence, stuff like that. So you have no right to judge another person. Like 
Ladies, get it together. Bashing another woman for doing something is not is not the move. Leave that in 2020. Because as a female, you want to uplift, uplift each other, especially black women. Like, you want to uplift each other. There's no need for the, oh, you don't need to be twerking, or you don't need to be, um, you know, getting surgery. Like, let that girl do what she want to do. I'm a strong believer, and let the, let the female do what she wants to do. I don't care. And don't let no boy tell you what, not what to do. Don't let no girl tell you not to what to do. Just don't let nobody tell you what to do, period. So, let me put my little list up off the floor. I got a little heated for a second. <laughs> um, one more thing. The fourth thing on my list is art. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You see, my good sis Ari, she made me mad. But I've come to the realization that we don't need to necessarily cancel her, you know? She made a few little mistakes and you know that's that's the my girl that's the my girl so disregard me canceling her um yeah <laughs> love you ari because she made you know some uh, some good comebacks you know she she just made me mad she just made me a little mad so yeah disregard that now I know y'all gonna hate me for this. That's probably y'all girl. Y'all look up to her, blah blah blah. But the stuff she been saying lately, like with that with Olivia, the whole situation with Olivia, like that just blew mine. Because first of all, you didn't make nobody. You can't really say you made anybody because we know you through G Herbo. You feel me? So you can't you can't say you made somebody. And the thing is, with Olivia, she has a talent. You know, she does makeup. Like, she gonna get bread regardless. She didn't really need Ari. She was just, Ari was just a boost for her. So for her to say all that and, like, the stuff she just says and how she thinks, it's just, she's too bitter. Like, it's just, but moving on. <laughs> um, Number five, them Dickies outfits the boys be wearing and the girls starting to wear, like, you know, Lita. Y'all shouldn't even brought that out to 2020. So leave that in 2020. Like, them little outfits with the... Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'll probably insert a picture here. But the little Dickies outfits, it, it looks good on some people, don't get me wrong. But most of the time, it don't it don't be hidden for me. It don't it don't be hidden. It don't be hidden. Um, What's another thing? Bone-in braids. And y'all know what bone-in braids are. Y'all, you know, the bone-in. Because these are boneless. So the regular box braids don't need to be left in 2020. Like, they, I don't know what took them so long to discover knotless braids or, you know, if they discovered it and just didn't tell nobody. But, like, I will never go back to regular box braids again, like, ever. Because knotless braids, they, like, so lightweight. You can move them whenever you want to, you know. Like, they be expensive at times and they need to lower them prices. But, for the most part, I love me some knotless braids because bone-in is just not cute no more, you know. And they hurt. Like, your head be hurting for three days. For what? And you can get some knotless and it don't hurt at all. That was your issue. Um, another one is, this is number seven. The word toxic. Let that junk go. She, she should have been left in 2019. Like, let that word go. It's not cute to be toxic. You shouldn't want a toxic relationship. You shouldn't want to be toxic yourself. Like, even saying this word so many times is really blowing me. Like, ew. Because y'all just y'all just worship that word, and it's not cute. Like, being toxic. First of all, people don't even know what real toxic, real toxic. I can't even say the word. Real toxicity is. People don't even know what it is. So, I feel like people think cheating and going back to him or, you know, you know, a nigga doing you dirty and you going back to him is toxic. But... I mean, it can be, but why would you want that? Why would you want some toxic stuff? Like, we too old for toxicness. You need to be loving. Like, who got time for that? You feel me? It was cute. It was cute for a little minute. Well, actually, it never been cute to me. Like, I'm, <laughs> I was so over because I was in a toxic relationship, but we we made it work. So, being toxic is not it. Like, just let let it go. Like, let the toxicity, how we say that word, go. And just be happy. Like, who got time to be mad all the time and toxic? Like, who got time? For real, for real. Life is really too short. We are already in 2021. Whoa, gonna be. Life is just too short. Be happy. <sighs> okay. The eighth thing is Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump. 
Yeah, nigga, fuck Donald Trump. He need to just let his little Twitter go, start take them Twitter fingers down. You know, he to just pack his stuff and leave. Get that break ahead and leave. He need to get his, get, get, he need to just go. He need to get ASAP. Like, he need to just go. Because I don't know if y'all, like, been keeping up with the news lately, but he's into that whole death penalty thing and the man i forgot his name but a man just died over something he did 18 years ago not even died he was executed over something he did when he was 18 years old and donald trump pushed for that so i just feel like he needs to go like you're not you didn't do nothing for us and trump supporters y'all are the worst and if you're a trump supporter watching this you're the worst and i don't like you get off my channel <laughs> but yeah he needs to go um what's another thing um sensitive people so on twitter it's like if you have twitter then you know like people are extra sensitive you can't say nothing nowadays people are so sensitive they'll get in feelings about nothing you can say like for example this um girl from moon x cosmetics she posted um um i don't like usps and the girls was going crazy talking about why are you this why are you discounting usps and you just use it and this is how you start off. People forget how they came up. Like, girl, it was never that deep. All she did was state her opinion. All she did was state her opinion. Like, you cannot have an opinion no more without something, you know, without something, without somebody feeling some type of way about nothing. Literally nothing. Or people just be sensitive about little stuff because people will say, let's say, for example, mulatto and mulatto. Let's say, for example, mulatto and light skin Keisha. They have names that represents themselves, represents them, represents, you know, who they are. So why is, why do people take offense to the fact that they are naming themselves after their skin color? Like, I just don't understand. Light skin Keisha in photo. She's, when she's not light skin comments, she's definitely light skin. She's definitely light skin. And why is it so wrong that she named herself light skin Keisha? Like, what is the issue? Why do y'all have issue with that? I just don't understand. Being so sensitive for no doggone reason. And then with Mulatto, okay, maybe, you know, it was a derogatory, you know, word back in the day. But she describes it as herself changing that narrative, you know, changing, making it her own. So I feel like if she done said that already, why is y'all worried? Why is y'all worried? Like, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Like, it should not bother you that badly. Okay, um, another one is, another one is canceling 6 9 so everybody talking about they hate him he is snitch blah, blah blah but why does he have so many followers you know why does he why when he got out his life at two million you know people in it like i just feel like he needs to be canceled he don't need to be making no money he needs to be at home you know like i don't care he, like i don't like him for the simple fact that he diss dirk and he diss new ski and he diss vine like i just don't like that so I'm like, we as a culture need to cancel 6 9 And I'm, I'm not even here for the cancel culture. Like I hate when y'all just randomly cancel people. But for him, it needs to happen. You feel me? It needs to happen. So yeah, get to it, cancel culture. Get to it. <laughs> but yeah, that is my 10 things that needs to be left in 2020. I hope you have some of the same ones. And if you do or don't, you know, share some below. Maybe I missed some. But Honestly, it's a lot of things that need to be left in 2020. Like, 2020 was just a crazy year. Like, so many deaths, this virus. Like, and that's another thing. The virus needs to be left in 2020. Although it's not really realistic. But, like, it's just so much stuff that needs to be left in 2020. The negativity towards black people. The ne like, I could go on and on. Because it's just so much. Like... I feel like, and black women have it the worst. I don't care what nobody says. Black females have it the worst. Because y'all literally hate everything we do. Everything. Like, everything. And it's ridiculous. But, yeah. Um, yeah, comment down some things you think I left out or, you know, that's on your list. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. Love you. Mwah.